Hey Fix and Cruz family, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a crucial component of your car's engine that often gets overlooked, but can cause a lot of headaches. The Idle Air Control Valve, or IAC Valve. This little device plays a big role in keeping your engine running smoothly, especially when you're not pressing the gas. In just a moment, we're going to watch a quick overview that explains what it does, how it fails, and the key symptoms you need to watch out for. After that, we'll break it all down and I'll give you my critical take on why understanding this valve is so important for every car owner. Let's roll the clip, take a watch. In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about a bad idle air control valve, what it does, how it fails, and the key signs you should watch out for. So, what's the purpose of the idle air control valve? The idle air control valve actuator is an electrically controlled device which gets its input from the vehicle's engine control unit. The actuator is fitted such that it either bypasses the throttle or operates the throttle butterfly valve directly. The main job of the idle air control valve is to regulate the engine's idle speed by controlling the amount of air that bypasses the throttle plate. This ensures the engine runs smoothly when the throttle is closed, like when you're stopped at a light or warming up the engine. Now that we know what the IAC valve does, let's jump into the common symptoms of a bad IAC valve. All right, let's start with the first symptom, the check engine light coming on. When the PCM detects a problem with the IAC valve, like an inconsistent operation, it triggers the check engine light and stores diagnostic trouble codes. These codes are essentially your car's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. One of the most common codes related to a faulty IAC valve is P0505. However, depending on the issue, you might also see codes like P0511. If you're not sure about what these OBD2 codes mean, you can always visit our website, obdcode.org, where we've got a full list of codes and their explanation. Or you can head to any auto parts store and scan your car for free. All right, let's move on to the next symptom of a bad idle air control valve, erratic idle speed. If the IAC valve isn't working properly, the engine's idle speed may become unstable. If the IAC valve is stuck open, your engine revs way too high, even when your foot's off the gas. If it's stuck closed or clogged, your RPMs drop too low and your car might feel like it's about to stall. If there's a wiring issue, your RPMs could bounce up and down unpredictably. Next, engine stalling. If your IAC valve is clogged or stuck closed, it can choke off the airflow your engine needs while idling. That means your car could shut off unexpectedly in situations like right after starting, especially on cold mornings, or when coming to a stop, like at a red light, or while idling for too long. The next symptom is vibration or shaking while idling. If the IAC valve isn't working right, it can disrupt the air fuel mixture, making your engine struggle to maintain a smooth idle. This can lead to vibration while idling, and your car vibrates while idling, but smooths out once you press the gas pedal. All right. That was a fantastic breakdown of the idle air control valve. So, what did we learn, and why is this part so vital? Essentially, the IAC valve is an electrically controlled device that works with your car's engine control unit, the ECU, or PCM, to regulate the amount of air bypassing the throttle plate when your foot is off the gas. Think of it as your engine's personal air traffic controller for idle speed. It ensures a consistent and smooth idle, whether you're sitting at a stoplight or just warming up your engine on a cold morning. Without it, your engine wouldn't know how to keep itself running at low RPMs. Now, the video highlighted some really important symptoms of a bad IAC valve. Let's quickly chat about them. First up, the check engine light. This is your car's primary way of telling you something's wrong. If your PCM detects an inconsistent operation from the IAC valve, it'll trigger that light and store a diagnostic trouble code. 
we saw codes like P0505 and P0511 being mentioned, which are direct indicators of an IAC system malfunction. So, if you see that light, scanning for codes is your first step. Next, erratic idle speed. This is where things can get a bit tricky. If the valve is stuck open, your engine might rev too high even when you're not touching the accelerator. On the flip side, if it's stuck closed or clogged, your RPMS will drop too low, and your car might feel like it's about to stall. And a wiring issue? That can make your idle speed fluctuate wildly, which is definitely a noticeable problem. Has anyone experienced their car idling like a roller coaster before? Let me know in the comments. Then we have engine stalling. This is often a direct result of that clogged or stuck closed IAC valve. If your engine isn't getting enough air at idle, it's just going to shut off, usually right after starting, when coming to a stop, or after idling for a bit. Not ideal, especially in traffic. And finally, vibration or shaking while idling. A faulty IAC valve can throw off your engine's air-fuel mixture, causing it to struggle and vibrate. The good news is, if it smooths out when you press the gas, it points strongly to an idle-related issue like the IAC valve. So, as you can see, these symptoms are all interconnected and stem from the IAC valve's role in managing that delicate air balance at idle. Now, for my critical take on all of this, the idle air control valve, while small, is an absolute linchpin in your engine's smooth operation. Ignoring its symptoms isn't just an inconvenience, it can lead to more significant problems down the line. An erratic or stalling engine isn't just annoying, it can be a safety hazard, especially when you're navigating busy intersections or relying on your car to get you home safely. The beauty of issues related to the IAC valve is that they are often relatively straightforward to diagnose, thanks to modern OBD2 systems. As the video mentioned, a simple scan at an auto parts store or with your own scanner can pinpoint codes like P0505. This means you don't necessarily need an expensive trip to a mechanic just to figure out what the problem is. For many DIY enthusiasts, replacing or even cleaning a dirty IAC valve can be a manageable task, saving you a good chunk of change in labor costs. Often, the valve just gets gummed up with carbon deposits, and a good cleaning can restore its functionality. However, if the electrical components within the valve itself are faulty, then replacement is the only option. My biggest piece of advice is, don't procrastinate on these repairs. An engine that's constantly stalling or idling roughly is under unnecessary stress, which can accelerate wear and tear on other components. Early diagnosis and repair, whether it's a clean or a replacement, will save you headaches and money in the long run. The Obdicode.org website mentioned is an excellent resource for anyone wanting to dive deeper into these codes and troubleshoot effectively. Always cross-reference your specific vehicle's service manual for precise instructions. In essence, a happy IAC valve means a happy engine and a happy driver. And that wraps up our deep dive into the idle air control valve. I hope this video helps you understand this critical component better and empowers you to diagnose potential issues in your own vehicle. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to Fix and Cruise for more automotive insights, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss our next upload. And the obdcode.org website for more detailed code information. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep those engines cruising and those repairs fixing.